Today I'm here to help you green more shots as a big man, 6'10 and up jump shots. I got four jump shots here for you guys. So do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe. Let me know which one you're using, if you like any of them, uh, or if you tweaked a little bit of them. So let's dive right on in. I'm not gonna run a highlight reel of all the greens that I'm making. I'm just gonna get you to the content that you actually want, which is the numbers, the percentages, the four jump shots that I have here for you. Before I start though, it's very important. Shot timing profile is new this year. It's I highly recommend, and 2K Labs also proved it as well, high risk reward. I did not do the data. It's just what I found to be most successful. High risk reward is the way to go this year. Um, you just, you're not going to get any inconsistencies if you hit the green window. If it's either you hit the green window, it, it's good. And that's what it's all about. So let's dive right on into it. I got four jump shots here for you. And the first one you actually can just buy. Bam out of bio. You can see here. One of the best jump shots in the game. You can tweak this however you want. You only need a 75 in this game, and you only have to be at least 6'5". So it's one of the cleanest and best jump shots in this game. So this one, a little bit different. You can see it's got kind of a cool landing. The only thing that I worry about this one is it might get a little bit contested because you are jumping a little bit forward. But let's dive on into the actual details of this one here. We're going Isaiah Roby base. Steven Adams, Michael Potter. So similar releases, one, just a different base here. You can see how I have it set up, 87 Michael Potter. 13% Steven Adams, and then release speed. I have it tuned down to a B-, minus, but like I said, you can always tweak that however you want. You can get this one all the way up to an A if you want it to be much faster. So you can definitely play around with it exactly how you want. That's how I have it. So this one, obviously, you saw there, it's a little bit taller on a release. It's not as much like clutched back behind my head. Still, the release point is just above my headband there. So you can see this one is how I have it set up. We're going Jamichael Green base again. GG Jackson and Steven Adams are the two that we're going on this release. So it's just a small, different release, same base. It's still one of the best bases in the game. And uh, you can see I keep it just below the push. 87, 13%. I think it's really good. So here's the jump shot. We're going Jamichael Green for the base. One of the better bases for big men. And you only need a 79 or higher for this jump shot. You got to be at least 6'10", so it won't work for 6'9 or under. But this is where I have it. Michael Potter, 87. Steven Adams, 13. Just small, and obviously you can change this how you want. If you want to go all the way up, you can get this all the way to an A minus release speed if you really wanted to. I keep it at just a B minus because I'm usually shooting wide open shots as a center. And then I keep the push just a small bit behind. And this is, you can see on the jump shot here, I like to release it just at my headband. So when my head hits my headband, that is when I release, that's my release point. So as the ball hits the headband, that's always my trigger, my head point. That's why I use this release. So I hope these help. Let me know which ones you guys are using, which ones you guys like. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. We'll catch you later.